Hey guys, I got a comment requesting logarithms. It says, yo Andy, could you make a video on logarithms? We're learning about them in school right now and they kind of confuse me. I got inspired by this comment and I decided to put together a page that acts as an introduction to logarithms. Here it is right here. And this is different than I usually make. I have about a thousand pages on andymath.com that have notes and practice problems with answers and work, just like this page right here but I haven't made anything that kind of works like a lesson, something you can read through like this. So I'm trying something new here and hopefully it helps people out. If you want to check it out, there's a link in the description or it's also this right here, animath.com slash fun with logarithms. Let me show you what I came up with. I put his comment at the very top and then this is this video right here embedded. See if we can click right here. And then this is this video right here embedded. So there's that. So why do we use logarithms? Well, logarithms were invented to deal with this type of problem. Three to the X equals 25. Notice how the variable X is in the exponent. It says here, how would we solve for X? We could guess and check multiple times, or we could create a method to solve it. Logarithms are the method we use when we have an unknown value in an exponent, or in other words, a variable in an exponent. So this explains why we do it. So next we can go over the definition of logarithms. You have log base b of m equals x means the same thing as b to the x equals m. So the base of the log is equal to the base of the exponent. And then the exponent of this one is what the log is equal to. And this just takes a little bit of practice and you'll notice you do a little loop. I call it a loop-de-loop. -loop. It's b to the x equals m. That's this right here, b, x, m. So same thing if we look at the original problem, three to the x equals 25. 3 to the x equals 25. And here I have some practice problems that people can go over. So for the first one, they want you to rewrite in exponential form. Well, this is log base b of 1 fifth equals 25. Well, that would be b to the 25 equals 1 fifth. b to the 25 equals 1 fifth. And then if we click on show answer, we can check it. And yeah, b to the 25th equals 1 fifth. 2 through 4 are the same thing, but number 5 changes. It says m to the 5 equals 32 in log form. So let's do number 5. If we want to write it in log form, we're going to have a log. And then we know the base of the exponent is the base of the log. And then we know the log is equal to the exponent. So it's going to be equal to 5. And then the 32 goes there. So it should be log base m of 32 equals 5. And now that we have this, we can check going backwards m to the 5 equals 32. And that brings us back to this right here. So now there's eight of these that people can try out. And then next we'll scroll down to evaluating logarithms. So I put together this example. We start with this log base two of eight, and then it says here, you can set it equal to X. So we can set it equal to X, which is this right here. And then it says you can rewrite it in exponential form. So that's the loop thing. Two to the X equals eight, which is what we have right here. And then next, let's give both sides a base of two. So this is two to the X and eight is the same thing as two to the three. And then from here, if the base isn't zero or one or negative one, as long as the bases match, the exponents have to be equal. So we can just say X equals three. And that's it right there. Or if you prefer, you can just think of this, two to the X equals eight. What value of X would give you eight? Two to what power is eight? And that ends up being three. So then there's some practice problems down here. Let's zoom in. So for number nine, it says log base three of nine. If we set this equal to X and do our loop, it's three to the X equals nine. So three to what power gives us nine? Well, that's gonna be two. So if we hit show answer, it should be two. So there it is. Or for number 10, log three of three, you just have to imagine three to what power gives us three and that ends up being one. So if we click on this, it'll be one. And then there's some tricky ones. If we scroll down here, number 15, it says log base six of one. So we say equals X. So six to the X equals one. Well, six to what power gives us one? Well, anything to the zero is one. So this ends up being zero is the answer for this one. And then number 16 shows another type where it would be two to the X equals one half. So basically, how do you get this two on bottom? Well, it happens to be that two to the negative one is one half. That negative exponent puts the two on bottom. So the answer to 16 would be negative one. That is the exponent that you use to get this. And the last type you might see is like number 18, where it'd be 
4 to the x equals 2. Well, really, it's the square root of 4 that equals 2. And the way we write square root is to a 1 half power. So the answer is going to be 1 half because that's the exponent. So there's these that you can practice right here if you want to evaluate logarithms. And I think at the bottom of the page, I have even more practice. Yeah, evaluating logarithms. If you click on this page, so this is what my normal format is. There are 25 of them you can practice here, and they all have the answers and they all show the work if you want to try those out as well. But back to this page. So that's it for evaluating logarithms. So then we can move on to condensing logarithms. And I have some notes here. You're going to use product rule, which means that if they're multiplied on the inside, it splits into two logs that are being added. Quotient rule is if it's divided on the inside, it splits into two logs that are being subtracted, where the thing being subtracted goes on bottom. And then for the power rule, this coefficient of the log can be brought up and become the exponent of the x, the exponent of the thing being inputted into the log. So these are pretty important properties, and here's an example of how they're used in condensing logarithms. It starts with 2 log base b of x plus 3 log base b of y minus 4 log base b of z. First, we can bring up the exponent. So this 2 makes this an x squared. This 3 makes this a y cubed, and this 4 makes this a z to the fourth. And then for the last step, these three logs can become a single logarithm where these two that are added are on top being multiplied. And this one being subtracted is on bottom being divided. So for these two here, they become a single log of log five. And then since it's being added, these two are going to be multiplied. So the answer should be log base five of three X. So same thing for 20, we can condense this to a single natural log LN. And then since they're being added, they're going to be multiplied inside there. So this should be natural log 6y. And then if we go on to 21, now we have a subtraction. So we'll still write it as a single log base 2 because it matches this log. But now we're going to be dividing where the x is on top and the 4 is on bottom. So the answer should be log base 2 of x over 4. And there it is right there. Now last type is this 23 where we have a coefficient of 4 that can be brought up. So we can rewrite it as log base 3 of x to the 4 where the x is getting an exponent of 4. And we can click on show answer to check that, and they match. And there's even more of these that are a little more complicated, and you can check your answer. And if you get stuck, you can look at show work, and it shows every step. And there's a bunch of these you can go through. And then same thing for expanding logarithms, which is basically the exact same thing, but you're going the opposite direction. So I guess it's the exact opposite of the same thing. So it's the exact same notes right here. I just repeated them. But then here's an example of expanding. So everything on top gets a plus. So this is positive and this is a plus. And then the z4 on bottom goes on bottom. And then last, we bring down the exponent. So that 2 is brought down, the 3 is brought down, and the 4 is brought down. And then there's a bunch of practice problems you can try for all of these. So for like number 35, it says expand. So we know this is going to be two different logarithms. And one will be a 5, one will be an x. And then since it's divided, they'll be subtracted. So this is log base 2 of 5 minus log base 2 of x. And then there's additional practice for those as well. And if you get stuck on any of these, they have videos you can watch. And then this one has the work shown out right here. And then the last thing we go over is solving logarithmic equations. And I have another video that goes over a bunch of those examples. Or you can do them yourself here. This one, it says log base 3 of x equals 2. When it's written like this, the way you solve it is you do that loop from before, and it's 3 squared equals x. So the answer is x equals 9. So if we hit show answer, x equals 9. 44 is the same way. 45 is the same way. Now with 46, you have a single log on both sides. If you ever have a single log with the same base on both sides, you can just drop the log and set these equal to each other. So this would be 5x equals 2x plus 12. Subtract 2x from both sides, 3x equals 12. Divide both sides by 3, and you get x equals 4. So this one should be 4. Yep, it's 4. And if you get stuck, you can look at the show work, and it breaks it down into all the steps. Now, 47 is slightly different because you have two logs on the left side, but we know how to make single logs. We would condense this into a single log. We would say log base 5, and then since it's being added, those two things are being multiplied. So it'd be x plus 1 times 4. And that'll be equal to log base 5 of 24. 
Now we're back to the point where we have a single log on both sides with the same base. So from here, you can just drop the logs and set these equal to each other. X plus one times four equals 24. To solve this, we can divide both sides by four. We have X plus one equals 24 over four, which is six. Subtract one from both sides and we get X equals five. So if we go up here and hit show answer, it should be five. Yep, X equals five. And then once again, there's work. And this also includes a button for a video. Here's another one where you'll condense them. Here's ones where you're gonna condense both sides independently, and then you can set them equal. Here's all the work for that. Each of these get condensed to a single log, and then you set these things equal to each other, cross multiply and solve. And each of the rest of these falls into one of those three formats. And if you get stuck, you can just click on show work. So I have a thing called C related pages, and these bring you to those pages that are just practice problems and notes. Once again, this page was animat.com slash fun with logarithms. There's also a link in the description. Let me know in the comments what you think and definitely let me know if you have any ideas for improvements. How exciting.